In this video, we're going to be going over how to set up the Govee H5080. The Govee H5082. And the Govee 50H3. Now, since the other two are pretty much identical to this one, except this one shows two plugs on the device view rather than one, we're going to use this one onto the unboxing. So, inside the box, we have a quick start guide. Not much there. So to pair these, you first need to plug them in. To add the device to the Govee Smart App, click the plus sign, search for the device model, click on the device model once found, and as long as the device is plugged in and not already paired, you should see it flashing. Go ahead and click on it, and it will connect. You can be prompted to press the power button on the device, on the dual plug unit here, Either power button will do. Name the device. You'll be prompted to enter Wi-Fi credentials. Since I've already done this, my credentials are already in. I'm going to go ahead and click Done. Your device has now been added to the app. On a single plug unit, you'll see just a single power button. On the dual plug unit, you'll see a master power button and two individual power buttons for each plug. Configuring timers. For each outlet, there'll be a timer and an auto on and an auto off. The timer is your traditional timer where you can add events. So we're going to turn this one off and we're not going to set a repeat. So this is going to be a one-time event. And since it's 657, we're going to go up here and choose well, it's 658 now, so we're going to choose 659. Done. And now this will be a one time event. This light will turn off, and this slider will go inactive. We'll add a second event, and we'll select all the days for an on. That needs to be a 7. So this, now we're going to see this go off at 6.59, there, off, now you can see that just that side is off, this side is still on, and then in less than a minute we should see it turn back on. Now if we back out of here, you'll see that that's gone inactive. Alright, and our reoccurring event has triggered, and you can see that that one has stayed enabled. You can add additional timers as necessary. And you see you can add quite a few. And now the device is added. It will show up under all devices. But it can be useful to sort them into rooms. Rooms are just categories or groupings of devices. Uh, I like to use them just so that I'm only seeing what I'm looking for at the time, you know. So right now here you'll see the smart plugs and the different sensors. But if I go to outbuildings, I'm only going to see a subset of those devices, in this case temperature sensors out in my hoop houses. All right, so to add a device to a room, click the three dots, go to room management, and here you can add rooms. I've already got a room, so I'm going to choose basement. And then I'm going to click on this little green plug, and that's going to add that to that room management, and I'm going to click Done. And I'm going to back out of here, go to Basement View, and there's my plug. Since this device is configured for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, we can see that we have a Wi-Fi symbol, and we have a Bluetooth symbol. Automation. So I just showed you how to add timers to a single device. Kobe also has a feature called Automation, which lets you control multiple devices with a single schedule.